of the bush and, and we started logging and cutting down the, the large seed trees and, and forests have just been changed so much that without human intervention now it would take several hundred years of uninterruption to bring the forest back to a natural state so with logging uh, we basically keep that natural state in an artificial way Venture Highway where the days are longer, the nights are stronger than moonshine. You're gonna go, I know. What would be the benefit of horse logging as opposed to typical logging that we see today with heavy machinery? The benefits of horse logging, uh, basically uh, the fundamental one is that, you know, a regular horse weighs, you know, for Belgian or, or something of that nature, they're around 2,000, 2,500 pounds for, for the heavy end of a, of a working horse. Um, if you're looking at a skitter, skitters weigh anywhere from uh, 10,000 up to 20, 30,000 pounds, and typically when they go through... Um, they do a lot of compaction, even with the broad tires, they do a lot of compaction uh, on the ground, which makes it very hard for seed trees to take over and, and start to multiply. Uh, as well, if they're working in any sort of wet environment or it's rained within the last you know, number of days, they basically will leave a lot deeper ruts, and those ruts can take you know, years or even sometimes, in, in, in worst case scenario, decades uh, to disappear. Um, and that kind of compaction on the root system of trees that are already existing um, really limits the ability of the tree to stand up against the weather but also to fend off invasive species like you know emerald ash borer um, and just basically to be a healthy tree. Because the free wind is blowing through your hair and the day surround your daylight there Seasons crying, no despair. Alligator lizards in the air, in the air. Are there some bushes that can only be done by horse logging? Are there situations where horse logging can step in what that uh, other machinery cannot 
do the job. Having horses allows you to do bushes where uh, you have a bush that's, you know, for example, wet. Um, it's naturally a wet or in a low-lying area. Um, the horses can go in pretty much any time of year, as long as the logger's willing to, to put up with the mud and stuff and the equipment and stuff. And uh, they can actually handle that and get in and out pretty easily with minimal disturbance to the undergrowth, to the bush, and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, they also tend to, to do very well in, in um, stands where it's environmentally sensitive. There are certain species or there are certain types of uh, saplings that are that um, people are wanting to encourage them to come along, or foresters and that sort of thing. Um, it's also really good in residential areas um, where you know where there are homes or or uh, people are nearby where you don't want to be hearing the uh, the heavy sound of the equipment. Um, horses can be in and out, and most people don't even know that they were there, other than hearing the trees falling uh, when the when the loggers knocking the trees down. probably the best job um, in the world it's uh, it's nice to be in the outdoors the horses have their own personalities and uh, they bring their own qualities and, and personalities to the bush every day you'll have some horses that love to pull and are ready to pull right off the start and ready to go and you have other horses that are more kind of the laid back and kind of just take it easy and trying to balance those those two out is uh, it's it's great.